everyone, it's me, Hannah Payne here, and I'm back with another video, a read-along video, called The Wizard of Oz. So in the previous chapter, will the, will the man be able to take Dorothy back home to Kansas with her Aunt Am and, and Uncle Henry? Well, we're going to find out soon. In the 15th chapter, chapter 15, how the balloon was launched. Dorothy was sent for by Oz after four agonizing days. Sit down, my dear. I think I have found a way to get you out of this country, he said patiently. <laughs> he said Pleasantly, and back to Kansas, she asked eagerly. Well, not exactly Kansas, but at least across the desert. And how can I do that? I asked Dorothy. When I came here, I was in a balloon, so I'm hoping that you. So I'm hoping. That the balloon is the best way for you to get across the desert. We'll have to make a balloon of silk coated with glue and filled with hot air. There is a lot of silk in the palace, but I'm afraid we don't have gas. If it won't float, remarked Dorothy, it will, it will be of no use to us. True, answered Oz. But there is another way to make it float, which, which is to fill it with hot air, though hot air isn't good as gas. Hmm. For if the air should get cold, the balloon will come down in the desert, and we should be lost. We exclaimed Dorothy. Are you going with me? Yes, of course, replied Oz. I much rather go back to Kansas with you and be in a circus again. Now, if you will help me sew the silk together, we will begin to work on our balloon. So Dorothy took a needle and thread and as fast as Oz cut the strips of silk into a proper shape, into proper shape, the girl glued them neatly together. It took three days to sew all the strips together, but when it was finished, they had a big bag of green silk more than 20 feet long. Then Oz painted then Oz painted on in the inside with a coat of thin glue Ooh. Mm -hmm. to make it airlight. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right. After which he announced that the balloon was ready. He had a huge basket tied to it. Once the balloon was ready, I sent across this. I sent word across the city that he is going away. He ordered the balloon to be carried out in front of the palace, and the people gazed upon it with much curiosity. The ten one men had made a fire and held the balloon over it until it was until oh, the hot air filled it up. When Oz got into the basket, he told everyone that while he was away, the scarecrow would rule over them. Just then, the scarecrow would rule over them. Just then, the ropes tying the balloon 
to the ground, became loose. Come, Dorothy, cried the wizard. Hurry up, or the balloon will fly away. Dorothy ran into the crowd, for Toto had jumped out of her for Toto had jumped out of her arms to chase a cat. By the time she got back with Toto, the wizard was too high in the air to get back down. Come back! she screamed. I want to go too! I can't come back, my dear! called Oz from the basket. Goodbye! The balloon rose up into the, into the air as everyone said goodbye until it soon disappeared behind the clouds. Aww, poor Dorothy. Looks like she's never gonna get her back, her way back home. What do you think will happen next? Well, we'll find out soon enough tomorrow in The Wizard of Oz as I read you the 16th chapter. And I'll see you tomorrow.